Hey folks, a holiday tradition will return to the stage tonight in downtown Grand Rapids, and you might want to bring your family with you to experience all the magic. Arlanda Cusino joins us live from inside of DeVos Place, where the Nutcracker will open in a matter of hours. Hey, what do you have with you this morning? What can we expect? Hey, good morning, Donovan. Lots of cool stuff backstage here at the DeVos Performance Hall, and what you can expect is this guy right here, the Nutcracker. There's, he's not gonna be the only one here tonight and you're gonna be able to see it all. I'm joined here by James, the creative director, director for the Grand Rapids Ballet. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you. Tell us a bit about this guy. I know he's been on a tour <laughs> all this week, basically. Yeah, he's been around the city. Yeah, you can find him on his uh, social media accounts, uh, Grand Rapids Ballet social media accounts. Um, but yes, we are opening tonight. We're so excited. We have two weekends of the Nutcracker coming up. And uh, yeah, this is the, the famous guy who uh, makes all the magic happened for Clara and uh, yes grows up and then we have a uh, our uh, professional dancer portraying the Nutcracker as well <laughs> what is the preparation that goes into this because it's not like you guys just take the stage you know it all right there's weeks <laughs> of preparation that goes into this yes well we have been doing the Nutcracker for you know pretty much every professional dancer has done it since they were a little kid um, so we have those little kids now who are the students of the Grand Rapids Ballet School so Yes, we start teaching them um, almost as early as September. We have auditions pretty much right at the beginning of the school year, and we've, we've been rehearsing since that time. The professionals, we, we know a little bit more of, uh, of what we're doing, um, but yeah, it still takes a lot, of, a lot of preparation, especially if somebody's new to our company. We have to teach them our version. So our version is very unique and special. It was created in 2014 specifically for Grand Rapids Ballet with huge sets and costumes, just like a Broadway show size production, which we're so excited about. And Chris Van Allsburg, the author illustrator who designed it for us so yeah it's just a fabulous show and lots of prep work today I mean so the performance is at 7 30 tonight but like you said there's going to be rehearsal up until then yeah we had our final dress rehearsal with the Grand Rapids Symphony last night um, today we'll just put a couple final touches on it we'll have our warm-up ballet class here on stage and uh, yeah a couple spacing rehearsals but we don't want to tire anybody out too much for the show tonight <laughs> what is the importance of people coming out and seeing the Nutcracker tonight well, uh, tonight or uh, any day this weekend or all next weekend, too, um, we have eight shows total, so there's, there's lots of chances to come see it. But it's just such a fun holiday tradition for a lot of families. Um, they come and see it every year. Uh, they bring their their uh, loved ones and then I know uh, generations, like they're bringing their grandkids now. Um, but even if you've never done that before, I think it's a really great in sort of introductory ballet, too. There's something for everyone. It's a kid's story, but it's also a grown-up story, too. And the music, oh, the Tchaikovsky score oh is gosh. just so yes. beautiful. So it really is a, a big uh, package of all that ballet on a grand scale can be. Beautiful. So if you want to check it out, you can get tickets at the Performance Hall's website for 9-11 down to Grand Rapids. Elena Kushnow, back to you. All righty, my friend. Looking forward to seeing those guys and girls perform. Thanks so much.